Hey friends, it's Native American Heritage Week and it's Wednesday, it's our gardening day. And this weekend I went to uh, the nursery nearby and I picked out some plants for our personal use that were on the uh, list for American Natives. Uh, there was 30 that I found, but I picked out a few. I picked out here some lavender which is great for helping you with, uh, when you smell it, it helps with the sleep. When you have the plant near your bed, they suggest, it actually is, it helps soothe you. They're, the things that they would cook with, of course, is like the sage and the rosemary. And the mint was used for uh, not just cooking, but actually if you have problems with your digestion or upset stomach, uh, of course they have many uses. That's one of the things that they would use. So what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to cut these bottles here, which I did one, and I used a screwer, and I was able to go in the bottom and I was able to punch out holes for drainage. And I filled it, I have other rocks, but I put some rocks and I mixed it with uh, some gravel and I'm gonna do that to all the rest of these bottles. I'm gonna use the soil here, the potting mix, and fill them, and then I'm gonna put the plants inside of them. And I have other plants that I picked out. I picked out some flowers, I got some uh, Laker colors, I have some cilantro, and we have another, what they call yava buena. It's like another different type of mint to also, uh, to put in your teas or to help, uh, again, to help soothe your stomach. So, those are the things that I'm going to uh, do with these, and I'll show you at the end, the end result. Thank you. It's all finished. I think it came out pretty nice. It looks really nice in container, and it's portable. I'll be able to move it around as I need to. So, I'm going to, I looked up a little bit more information about the plants. This one here is the rosemary, and I wrote down a few things. It says that the Native Americans Consider this plant to be sacred. And when they did use, uh, it was for use for sore joints. It helped improve memory, muscle pain and spasms, the circulatory, your nervous system, and your immune system. Then we have, yeah, you see it's working really good, the drainage. The lavender, the lavender was used if you were having problems sleeping, remember? But also for anxiety, and when, if you felt depressed, feeling a lot of sadness. It helps with headaches, and when you feel tired, it refreshes you. Sometimes people, it's suggested that you use the plant um, next to your bed, as I mentioned earlier, for helping you with the sleep. Then I have the mint. Now the mint was used for upset stomachs, as I mentioned before. But it, if you made, they used the leaves to make like a salve. They would mash them up like an ointment, and they would use it for uh, itchy skin and rashes. And then the last one here, the sage. Now, if you remember months ago, Margie did uh, make bundles of sage, white sage and they use them in smudging ceremonies. It's considered a very sacred plant. It helps to cleanse uh, your body, to purify uh, stones, cleanse the home, but also uh, it helps get rid of negative energy. And they would use the leaves to, uh, to help relieve, let's see, cramps, spasms, cuts, bruises, and they would use it for their colds or their flu. Okay, so as I told you, I added other plants. I, I added the flowers just for the bees, <laughs> but we do like cilantro, so we plant a little bit of cilantro, and I'm going to correct myself. This happens to be called pineapple sage, and it says here it's edible. Uh, the flowers are edible. And let's see, what else? Oh, you can use them in cool drinks and you can use the leaves also in salads. So there you have it. 
I hope you enjoy this and we'll start the question of the day and I hope you enjoy uh, watching this today thank you